soaring through the sky at supersonic speeds. The fireball lit up the Australian outback as spectators looked up in awe. I thought it would be like, yeah, like a shooting star, but it was big and it was wonderful. And I'm so pleased we're here this morning. Amazing. Um, probably won't see it again in our lives. But it wasn't just Cooper PD locals who set an early alarm for the 4am space landing. So we came here 10 years ago for the Hayabusa 1 and we just kind of thought, you know, why not come up again? It was a bit of a last minute thing. I have my school formal today. As the Japanese space capsule disappeared over the horizon, it parachuted safely into the Woomera test range. It took the aerial team over two hours to locate it, confirming that the six-year-long mission had achieved a successful arrival. I'm, ha I'm happy now, of course, but it's more like feeling really relieved, you know. I think we, we now have lived up to the expectation of all, all my friends all over the world. We're just thrilled for the Japanese team and all of the work that's gone into this. After undergoing a safety and biosecurity inspection, the capsule will be flown from Mission Control at Woomera directly to Japan, where it will be opened early next week. Even though it's a small capsule carrying just one gram of space dust, oh. it has giant potential to help unlock the secrets of life on Earth. Sarah Mullins, ABC News, Woomera.